Hello, my amazing artists, and welcome back to Art Wild Part with me, Miss H. This week, we are going to be learning about Australian Aboriginal art. So to begin, let's look at a map. So we are here in Austin, Texas, but if you were to fly to Sydney, Australia, it would take you a long time, about 21 hours to fly on a plane. And that's because Australia is on the opposite side of the globe as North America. So just, so let's talk a little bit about the history of Australia. The indigenous people in Australia have been there for a long time. Let's talk about the word indigenous. Indigenous means the first people who lived in a region or area. Other words that mean the same for indigenous are aborigine or aboriginal, native people, or first nations. So just like Native American Indians were the first inhabitants in current day United States of America, Aborigines were the first inhabitants of Australia. So these people, and here are some Aborigines dressed in traditional clothing, came to Australia between 16,000 to 80,000 years ago. That's a very long time ago. And something cool about Australian history is that Australian art claims to be the world's longest continuing art tradition. And we know this because historians have found cave art, like this picture, discovered on ancient rock walls that date back to 20,000 years ago in Australia. Aboriginal art varies from region to region, but many pieces um, show a connection with land and appreciation of native animals. And what I think is really cool is that there are artists still creating today that continue this culture and their traditions of Aborigine people. So here's a picture of some current day artists, and it does depend on what region you're in, but most art uh, coming from Australia is going to have these really bright colors, geometric shapes, different patterns. This style is all painted from an aerial view. So it's like a bird looking down on the ground and kind of represents what we can think of as a map. The indigenous Australians believe that their art was special and that it kept the earth healthy. So the last real rock artist actually died in the 1960s. But today, Aboriginal art is still created as a way to celebrate indigenous Australians and their history. So today, Aboriginal art is becoming more and more um, popular and famous and this popularity is what keeps the history of indigenous Australians alive. Aboriginal art is created to celebrate and remember the traditions of the Aboriginal people. And so for this week you have a few options. I've created two lessons for you. One is for grades K through two and then one's a little more challenging for grades three through five but you're welcome to try either one. And then I also want to show you some videos that I provided. So there's a lot of history that Aboriginal people have been in Australia for so long. So there's a lot, a lot of history that I can't cover in one video. But if you are curious and want to learn more, go to the end of the slide deck. And here is um, one of the Dreamtime stories that explains how different native creatures and landforms came to be in Australia. So check that out if you're curious. And then here's, here's one more thing I wanted to show. Um, in Australia, there is an instrument called the didgeridoo. This is a traditional instrument that was created by the indigenous people of Australia. And it still is used today. So this video explains some of the history behind the didgeridoo. And this is a current day artist, Lewis Burns, who plays the didgeridoo. It is beautiful. I recommend playing this video and listening as you are creating your art this week. And then finally, in the videos, I referenced some handouts. So just wanted to point this out real quick. If you want, you can click on them and print these out, or you can just look at them on the screen there. I hope that this week really interests you. It's always important to learn about different cultures, traditions, 
in not only around where we live, but all over the world. And, and it can help us find differences in each other, but then also celebrate those differences and even find some connections. Okay, friends, that's all I have for you. As always, I hope you have fun, take chances, and stay curious.